What's up internet, I'm Manish from RebellionRider.com. This PL SQL tutorial is in the continuation of the previous tutorial where we learned how to create a parameterized cursor. Today we will learn how to create a cursor parameter with default value. In order to better understand this tutorial, I highly suggest you to watch the previous PL SQL tutorial first if you haven't already. You can find the link on the top corner as well as in the description. So without wasting much of your time, let's start the tutorial. So as we have already learned that in PL SQL, we are allowed to create a cursor with parameter. Every cursor parameter has some restrictions which we have to comply with. For example, we have to specify the argument for each parameter when we open the cursor. Otherwise, we will get a PLS00306 error. To overcome this restriction, we have the option called default value. Default value is the value which you assign to the parameter of your cursor during the declaration of the cursor. Let's see how we do this. As you can see in this declaration section of our PL SQL block, we have declared two variables v underscore name and v underscore eid for holding the data written by the cursor. Then we have the parameterized cursor. The cursor declaration is pretty much similar to the one which we declared in the previous tutorial except for a minute change in the parameter declaration. This time along with specifying a parameter, I have also assigned the value to it. And then next we have the select statement. This select statement will retrieve the values from first name and employee ID column where the employee ID is greater than the value stored into the parameter. That is the declaration of the cursor parameter with default value. Now let's write the execution section of this PL SQL block. As you can see in this execution section, I did not supply any argument to the parameter when I opened the cursor. Followed by open cursor statement, we have the loop inside which we are fetching the data from the cursor into the variable v underscore name and v underscore eid and displaying it back on the screen. Let's try to execute this PL SQL block and see whether our cursor parameter with default value works or not. So here we have got the result which consists of the first name and employee ID of all the employees whose employee ID is greater than 190. Let me show you this result in full screen. Here it is. So we have 16 rows written by the cursor which means we have 16 employees whose employee ID is greater than 190. Let's come back to the cursor. Okay. So we just saw how to create a parameterized cursor with default value and learned that the default value minimizes the necessity of supplying arguments for each parameter in open cursor statement. You must be wondering, Manish, what is the use of providing default value to a parameter? Glad you asked. Default value is not a substitute value for the parameter of your cursor. This means that the default value comes into action only when the user does not specify the argument for the parameter while opening the cursor. In case you have a parameterized cursor with default value like the one we just created and you also specified an argument for the parameter in your open cursor statement, then the result written by the cursor will be according to the value which you supplied in the open cursor statement and not according to the default value. Let's see the demonstration. But first, let me close this script output. Okay. Now I will specify an argument value in open cursor statement in this cursor and then try to execute it again. So I just supplied an argument value which is 200 for the parameter var underscore e underscore id. Now if I will execute this cursor then the result will be different because this time the result written by the cursor will be according to the value 200 not 190. Let's execute. Here is the result. Let me show this to you on a separate screen. Here you can see that this time we have only 6 rows written by the cursor. 
unlike in the previous execution where we had 16 rows returned. So we can say that specifying the default value for the parameter of your cursor can increase the efficiency of your app or code by minimizing the chances of PLS00306 error. So that's it on the tutorial on how to create parameterized cursor with default value. Hope you enjoyed watching and learned something new. You can share your experience with me either by leaving a comment down below or you can also tweet me. Do make sure to give this video a thumbs up and also share this PLSQL tutorial with your friends on your Facebook, Twitter or by any means you find convenient. Stay tuned, I will be back with another interesting PLSQL tutorial soon. Till then take care, this is Manish from RebellionRider.com.